Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on November 25th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a space weather update, as well world weather forecast, earthquake update, and volcanoes. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms, looking at the plasma filaments erecting from our sun on the cresting limb. As well, we did have a small CME, but not in an Earth-facing direction. And we have that one southern region sunspot to talk about. No major flares coming out of that. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, one sunspot region is turning into an Earth-facing position. Other than that, not much to talk about. A pretty quiet sun right now of the last 48 hours. So the CME did eject from those regions that I was pointing out the other day, plasma filaments along the southern region of the sun. You can see right there on the multi-spectrum exactly where the CME was emitted from. A coronal mass ejection and that was just southwest of that deep and stretched coronal hole through the equatorial region of our sun. Looking at 191 angstroms here. Other than that, not much to talk about. We do have an Earth-facing coronal hole right now. And a CME that will be coming around. A little bit of energy thwarted away. We'll see that up into the 3rd or 4th of December. That's right, we are a month away from Christmas, everybody. Having a look at Alaska 2 and 3, showing the CME that ejected from the sun. And it was kind of in a more northwestern position and direction. Bright star on the right-hand side there is Mars. Real-time solar wind. Our solar winds are hitting us at about 398 kilometers per second, jumping up to about 460 kilometers per second today. But again, nothing like the other day when we were being hit by over 600 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux remains low, as well as geomagnetic activity remains low. Having a look at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 10. Having a quick look at the graphs here. Quality of 8.6 and an amplitude power of 10. Now let's have a look at earthquakes for the last 24 hours around the world. We're going to start out with the largest. Early this morning, there was a 6.0 earthquake in Lata, the Solomon Islands at a 39 kilometer depth, as well as saw some sizable aftershocks there, 4.9 ranging to 4.4. And just east of that in Fiji, we saw the deepest earthquake today, a 4.4 in Levuka, Fiji, 613 kilometer depth, as well as 345 kilometer depth, Kermadec Islands. Ambon, Indonesia, 4.3. That is right by the Luatolo volcano. Quiet through Japan, eerily quiet. As well, across the Indian plate up into Arabia here. One lonely earthquake to report, a 4.5 in Yemen. Other than that, very quiet. Unusually quiet through Europe and Africa. South Sandwich Islands reporting a 5.0 at a 70 kilometer depth, though. South America, seeing minor activity through Chile and up into Peru, 4.6 there, a quick, and a 4.0 reported, not Alaska, but central Peru at an 81 kilometer depth. Dominican Republic, seeing a lot of resonant minor earthquakes today, 4.3 here in Porto Angel, Mexico, and as well just recently. The Gulf of California seeing a 4.5, and as well, they saw a 4.4 there today, so lots of activity 
in the Gulf of California and moving northward all around the California Basin. Tom's Place up into Mono Lake and as well Petrolia here, 2.7. Other than that, nothing major to report across the North American plate. Looking at Hawaii here, largest reported today, a 3.5 earthquake. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. i give you a quick look at the last seven days of rumbles around the world and take a quick moment here to thank everybody for tuning in to daily events worldwide. We are over 41,000 strong. Hashtag do crew. Hashtag one love. And I really appreciate you all checking in here. Keeping you aware and prepared. Monitoring our planet. That is the last seven days for earthquakes. As we are still rumbling. Now let's get to weather as we do have a sticky situation, very dangerous situation developing through British Columbia, coastal regions, Vancouver. We've got a lot of rain, up to 120 millimeters over the next seven days is going to be falling through Vancouver region, southern parts of BC, and then northern parts of BC as well. A lot of heavy snow in the long range forecast, over 400 centimeters in some areas coastal regions of BC. So big, big storm warning here for northern BC, southern BC, and Alaska as we have three pretty intense systems heading into the coastline. Same thing is happening on the east coast. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected through New Brunswick and Nova Scotia as the Trans-Canada Highway was cut off yet again, second time in a week due to extreme weather. We're going to start out the five-day forecast here in British Columbia, Vancouver. As you can see, a lot of rain is coming this way over the next five days. Heavy through Vancouver and the border with Washington. And that is a very big low-pressure center just spinning off the coast there, Pacific Ocean. Long-range forecast. Center of the low will be heading into the... Alaskan Peninsula, bringing a lot of moisture with it. Overlooking eastern parts of North America, watch for flurries to move in tonight through Ontario, and then colder conditions are going to continue throughout the week and most likely get some snow on Sunday, especially through southwestern parts of Ontario as another cold front slips through and a small Alberta clipper runs across Canada down into Ontario. Also got a situation here with Newfoundland. Long range forecast, big low pressure system here. Going to be a very rainy and windy event. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, strong high pressure ridge off the coast of Spain, moving into the center of the Atlantic. As well, we've got a very large low pressure system over Europe as well in this long range forecast. Five day forecast showing a lot of rain and snow through hella higher elevations. Cold temperatures are definitely moving through northeastern and central parts of Europe. You could see a very big wintry event through parts of Norway, and Finland, as well. A lot of rain moving through Oman and Turkey this week. One, two, three waves of moisture moving through with that. Very organized, large, low-pressure system over Europe. Overlooking Russia, Southeast Asia. Deep, cold temperatures moving far down below Tibetan Plateau. Staying dry through Japan until later in the week. Low-pressure center just off of Taiwan. Low-pressure center heading into Thailand this week. And as well, one sustaining through India and parts of northern Sumatra. You could see a typhoon develop in the long range through central parts, Micronesia. Low pressure center moving into eastern parts of Australia in the long range. Overlooking the Pacific. Still watching that 
it's just very interesting. I haven't seen these systems get so big recently over the last couple of years. And again, I want to thank everybody for joining this journey. I appreciate your loyalty and love to the channel. Overlooking South America, watching for extreme weather to move through Argentina, up into Paraguay this week. Other than that, daily evaporation rains, nothing major to report. Maybe some really heavy rains through Panama, coastal regions there. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains further south than normal. And as well, watching a pretty tight low pressure system head through Cape Town. Sunday into Monday, you could see some pretty strong winds, high surf through South Africa. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the lows and the highs spinning around our planet right now. And it's very interesting that we've got three, four actually major systems that are spinning around the Northern Hemisphere, very organized and very big. And now have caused natural disasters on both coasts of Canada. Thanks everybody for watching today. This has been your morning dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Prayers for humanity. Bye bye. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.